Hey everyone, King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to root the HTC Evo Shift uh, when you are on Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Uh, I know this was basically if you've accepted the over-the-air update to Android 2.3 you weren't able to root your phone but now you actually are able to. So just a heads up there, uh, go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and hit menu, settings, go down to about phone and then go to software information. As you can see Android version 2.3.3 right there. Uh, just to show that I am on gingerbread. Uh, basically, this is going to be a per permanent root solution. It will allow permanent root. There was temporary root before, which would uh, be removed once you rebooted your phone. But anyways, once uh, you're ready to go, click on the link in the description of the video. Takes you to uh, this form. What I have you do initially is go ahead and start downloading a file. So scroll down, keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down until you get to official RUU file for downgrade, downgrading the 2.2. Select it and download it. Just get that download started, guys. Uh, you're not gonna need it till later, but just make sure you download that file. Uh, anyways, then click on the other link in the description of the video. Big thanks to Evil Devnol for this. Uh, and click on this Android Bullet version 2.8 e stable.rar. Click on it, download it. It's gonna be a RAR file. Uh, you're gonna need either WinZip, WinRAR, or 7-zip. Uh, as you can see, it's called Android Bullet 2.8e Stable. Um, go ahead and also create a folder on your S on your desktop called Shift Root Shift Temp Root. So just make sure you have a folder on your uh, desktop and double click once you have WinRAR, WinZip, or 7-Zip. Double click on it. It's going to be a bunch of files. As you can see, I'm just going to hit Extract to and then find that Shift Temp Root folder right there. Select it and just hit OK. It's gonna uh, basically it's gonna extract all those files to this folder. So after you hit OK, it and I open up this folder. As you can see, all, all the files are right there. So make sure you just have all of these files. Once you do, you're gonna need to actually go to your phone and uh, hit Menu, go to Settings, go to Applications, go to Development, and then just make sure USB debugging is checked at the top right there. So just make sure you have USB debugging checked up there. Once it is checked, you can go ahead and plug in your phone. So just like that, hit charge only. I'm going to hit done. Once it's done, I'm going to go ahead and go to my shift temp root folder. And once I am there, you guys, if this is your first time doing it, are going to need to double click on this Android bullet temp router .bat. So double click on that if it's your first time doing it. It's going to open this up for you guys. Um, I've already done it, so I'm not going to follow this one, but just go ahead and press any key to continue. It'll be similar to this method. If you have uh, done it, you're going to need to double click on this one and double click on this .bat file. What it's going to look like is this. It's going to be very similar with both methods, just ones if you have uh, temp rooted or not. So I'm going to hit enter to continue. It doesn't matter. I'm going to hit enter again, hit enter again. It says exploiting device, and it says, did I say exploiting device only once? If not, so if you didn't say it once, right there, pull your battery out and start again. So make sure you guys do that if it only says exploiting device once. So pressing key to continue, pressing key to continue. It'll continue in the process. Keep pressing any key. Access granted. Keep pressing keys when it says press any key to continue. Keep pressing any key, keep pressing any key, and then keep pressing any key. Press any key to continue, and it says done. So once it's done there, press any key to continue. Once it's done there, go to your phone, and now go to your app drawer, and if, you're, if there is super user in your app drawer, like so, if you do see super user in your app drawer, that means, um, Basically, what you need to do is go ahead and now, now try and download the Root Check app from the market. So down, go to the market, download Root Check, select it, and then have basic highlighted and hit verify root access. Um, if it says, sorry, you don't have root access, that means something went wrong. What I'm going to have you do is get, go ahead and reboot your phone and then try this process again. Uh, basically, try it again. If it if it you do have super super user in your app drawer, 
though, but it doesn't allow you root access. I'm going to have you guys go ahead and go to the uh, re-router and do that. So uh, basically power off your phone, pull your battery, put your battery back in, turn it back on, and then basically run it again, but run the re-router if you've ran this and you had super user in your app drawer. So once you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and power off my phone and then run through it again and make sure I do have super user access. All right, so I went ahead and ran the uh, re-router again since it didn't work the first time. If it doesn't work the first time for you guys, uh, go ahead and run the re-router again. If that doesn't work, run the original one again and then run the re-router again. Uh, basically, power off your phone, pull out the battery if it doesn't work, and then try the process over again. It can be a little finicky to get it to work. So uh, be patient with it and just basically keep trying until it works. Um, go to, I'm going to go ahead and go to the root check app and make sure I do have super user access. I'm going to hit verify root access. And as you can see, super user request is right there. So I do have temporary root right now. And I'm going to hit allow. And it says congratulations, you have root access. So I'm good to go there. So now once I've verified I do have root access, you're going to need to go ahead and plug in your phone once again into your, uh, into your PC. Once you do plug it in, go to your downloads folder. That file I told you guys to download earlier, that RUU Speedy Sprint right there, double click on it. And then hit yes. So basically you're gonna to need to run this RUU. It's gonna go ahead and set up the installation wizard. All right, so uh, basically you can go ahead and view the README, gives you some information about it. Once you're done, check that, I understand it. Hit next. Uh, basically, you need to have your Android phone connected to your PC and then disable standby and hibernation modes on your PC as well as make sure your battery is above 30%. Once you've done that, check the I've completed steps indicated above. Hit next. It's gonna go ahead and verify information on your Android phone. And now it says current information on your Android phone. Hit update. And now as you can see it says from image version 2.76 to image version 1.17. So once you're, you see that, hit next, hit next. And it's going to go ahead and run through the process. It's going to reboot your phone to... Uh, uh, a screen, it should start a progress bar as well once it reboots your phone to that screen. If you do get an error when running this RUU, just exit out of it and run it again. Don't unplug your phone. And then if you get an error again, then unplug your phone, power out, reboot your phone. Make sure you, and then tr if you get an error again after that, install HTC Sync. Just Google it, you can find it, and then try it again. And then if you get any other problems, you can feel free to ask. It says you must, I don't know why my computer is saying you must restart your computer. I'm going to hit restart later. Especially considering it's doing this. Don't let your phone, I mean your PC turn off. Don't let your phone uh, turn off either. Let it go. It's going to take a little while. It could take up to 10, 15 minutes to run this process. So just a heads up there. Don't let your PC turn off like mine just tried to on me. Uh, I must not like my shift. <laughs> but eventually there should be a progress bar on my phone and a progress bar as well on this. As you can see, dots are going, so you know it's working. So it says updating signature. <clears throat> All right, so once it's finished, it said rebooting your Android phone. It went ahead and rebooted my phone. As you can see, it's in the process of rebooting now, and it says congratulations, your ROM update has been completed. Your Android phone is now ready for use. So that means the utility has finished uh, running. Go ahead and just hit finish when you're done. And now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let my phone boot back up. As you can see, normal uh, boot up screen like always, which is a very good sign. All right, now my phone has turned back on. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and unlock the screen. should be loading for me. I'm sure it's going to take uh, me back to basically the Android start screen, run me through HTC setup. I'm going to hit done. It says charge only. Considering my phone is plugged back in, you can plug, unplug it if you want, since you are done, pretty much. At least done with the initial process. What this did was go ahead and uh, basically downgrade you back to Android 2.2, which is going to allow you to root and clockwork mod your phone, which is going to basically allow you to flash ROMs. It will allow you to flash gingerbread ROMs as well, so don't worry about not being able to utilize gingerbread. All right, as you can see, Android, I mean, HTC start screen. I'm going to skip through all that. Obviously, you don't want to watch me 
set all that stuff up. It's going to go ahead and load the home screen. It takes a little while to load it considering it is a fresh, uh, fresh install. Again, this is Android 2.2 now. I'm not on Android 2.3 anymore, so I went ahead and downgraded to Android 2.2. So as you can see in the notifica notification bar itself is different. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Menu, Settings, Let's go down to About Phone again. And I'm going to go to software information, and as you can see, whoops, should not have done that. Android version 2.2 right there, so now you know I'm on Android version 2.2, which is, as you know, rootable, and in, you can install Clockwork Mod as well. So as you can see, I'm going to scroll down, and it says voicemail update. I'm sure I can go ahead and uh, run the update again if I want to go back to Gingerbread, but this downgraded me to Android 2.2. Now what I'm going to have you guys do is click on the link in the description of the video. It's going to take you to my other video showing you how to root and clockwork mod Android 2.2 and you'll be good to go. So basically if you accepted the over the air update to Android 2.3 you can now downgrade back to 2.2. But now that you're back on Android 2.2 you're good to go. You can uh, root and install clockwork mod as well. Just click on the link in the description to my video showing you how and you'll be good to go. Uh, basically, if you do have any questions at all, run into any problems, feel free to ask, leave a comment. I'll be happy to help you guys out. You can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All links will be in the description of the video. Be sure to subscribe to me as we, for future videos as well, such as flashing ROMs, things of that nature. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to thumbs up if you like it. Thanks.